Welcome back to the news today. This is a one-on-one. Julian Omer Khamis was an Israeli-Jewish-Palestinian, Arab actor, director, filmmaker, and political activist. Born to a Jewish-Israeli mother and an Israeli Arab father of a Greek Orthodox descent, Julian Omer achieved fame with his acting career. In 2006, in Janine, he established the Freedom Theater along with Zakari Zbede, a former military leader of the Janine Al-Aqsa Martyr Brigades a community project to provide opportunities opportunities for the children and youth of Janine refugee camp. Four years ago, he was assassinated by a masked gunman in the Palestinian city of Janine. With me tonight is in the studio is his brother, Spartacus Hamis. Good evening and thank you very much for coming. Good evening. I want to uh, take you back to the day that I got the message and I was maybe in total shock because I didn't want to believe that it actually happened to him, that it actually happened to the son of Arna, that it actually happened to someone uh, from within the Palestinian people that felt the Palestinian pain and was killed by the Palestinians. And the amount of fr frustration that I felt, I believe that, I think that you maybe felt the same or you could understand this. No, I could understand this because uh, his assassination really came not as a surprise, it came at the beginning of the Arab Spring. It, it, uh, it actually started in Tunis, then it moved to Egypt, and then some elements managed to enter from Sinai to Gaza, where they assassinated Organo Vittorio, mm -hmm. and then uh, before that they assassinated uh, Giuliano. It, it was uh, Islamization of, of, of a new sort in the Middle East, which is now we see the result everywhere. You are seeing the result everywhere, and what do you think? Because Giuliano maybe put it as a mission of his life to maybe save the Palestinians, to show a different image of the Palestinians. He went and moved to Janine, and he lived in Janine, and he continued the, the dream, uh, the, the big project of your mother. Um, maybe he was wrong. Yes, he was wrong, but my mother was right. You see, there is a difference between my mother's action. My mother went there to help the children of Janine after the Intifada, where all the schools were shut for many years. So when my mother entered Janine as a, as a teacher, she saw that all the children of Janine, for example, and Gaza, by the way, she also started building a, a care and learning uh, rooms and libraries in Gaza. It was simultaneous activity to substitute the closed uh, schools by schools of Anna. And then uh, Giuliano carried on that into a more artistic level where instead of care and learning, therapy and drawing and learning mathematics, etc., he went into theater and exhibition like music and etc. But uh, Giuliano is different from my mother. My mother is a communist, you know, it's a revolutionary communist. Anyone who knows my mother, she doesn't do it to help the Palestinians, she does it to help humanity. And she would support uh, the blacks in America and the Palestinians, I mean, where, even Jews. I mean, she, she used to teach uh, uh, children with difficulties, Jewish children with keepers on their heads. So she didn't really differentiate between the people because she's a communist. And a communist does not look at the people according to their race or belonging. It looks at people as they are people, per se. Giuliano, no. Giuliano wanted to make a peaceful... Uh, revolution in a very militarized place. He uh, called it uh, the culture cultural, in, exactly. cultural intifada. Exactly, and there's no such a thing. I mean, there's hardly military. It's a paradox. It is. Uh, it's a mistaken. You see, during the seventies, we thought we can make a revolution through rock and roll. Believe me, I mean, John Lennon and Jimmy Hart, we, we all thought that by long hair, drugs, and very peaceful lyrics, we can bring about change without uh, a revolution. It didn't work. They all became millionaires and glory rock and in, in, in L.A. with a swimming pool and, and a Rolls Royce. So it didn't work. So culture really is a very weak concept for, for, for anything. Do you um, 
Do you remember the, the, the time that you got the message? Of course. I was driving back from work. I was in my car, in, in, not far away from where I park, when they mentioned on the news that a director, a famous director, was assassinated uh, in Jenin. Who could it be? So I rang him and he didn't answer the phone. And I, then I immediately realized it is him. Because when no you get the message, you say what? You are angry at whom? You're angry at him? You're angry at the Palestinians? You're angry at the Israelis? No, you're angry? I'm, I'm not angry at anyone. At the, because I, I understand the, the dynamics, you see. That's why it happens to him and not to me. You see, I can also now go and walk in the settlements or in, in, in Gaza and be shot. If I say something against Islam or something against the leaders, I will be shot. I mean, uh, many times they will lynch you for things they don't like. So it's very easy to be killed. It's very hard to stay alive. And unfortunately, he, he didn't understand this. Uh, he didn't understand No, this. no. He, he didn't understand he, the he, fact that he is already a father, that he's already a husband, that he maybe needs to create better life for, for his children. My that mother deceived him, you see. She gave him this uh, feeling of power and, and of uh, confidence, which he does not really contain. I mean, she, she, she deservingly... Uh, can do it, but he no, he is not a revolutionary, he is not a communist. He, he wants to make a theater and, and he wants people to join the theater. And he thinks by doing a theater, you, you will stop the occupation, but it doesn't. You know, uh, there is a phrase that uh, when you're living in Rome, be a Rome, he, he, when he lived in Janine, he wasn't somebody from Jenin. No. He was always looked at as uh, Giuliano, the, the Jewish. Yes, that, that, that's a problem with the Arab racism, you know, the, the racism is everywhere. I mean, like the Jews hate Arabs, Arabs hate Jews. So obviously, even if you have a slight uh, Jewish connection, you're rejected immediately, especially with the radical Islamists and Syrians. They are very... Uh, uh, aggressive uh, Arabs uh, who don't tolerate any Jewish uh, connection. And, and the same thing with Jews. I know Jews. If only they see your name having any uh, relation to an Arabic name, they, they will uh, despise you. Do you see any future after uh, you saw your mother fighting and after you saw your brother being killed? Do you see any future of peace between the two people? Well, there's no peace between any people, really. Uh, there's no pe peace. Peace is, is an economical equality. You cannot make peace between the rich and the poor. There's no way. As long as you are rich and as long as I am poor, what kind of peace do you want? So the only way to make peace is to equalize between people. When the Palestinian people will become rich and the Jewish people will become rich, there will be peace. There's no peace in other ways. If your mother would have uh, saw uh, Giuliano at uh, maybe his last days, what would she tell him? Well, I, I think if my mother was alive after his assassination, w w the situation would be quite different in the Middle East, especially if my father was also alive. Luckily for the Palestinians and for the Israelis, they were dead long before he was assassinated. And they put all the responsibility now on my shoulder, which I do it uh, with happiness and, and with dedication, of course. And uh, I'm quite optimistic that we can create peace, but not in that frame that, that you are talking about. Ah, uh, Spartacus, um, I have to tell you that on a personal note, I miss him. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, I, I miss him too because he, he was really very talented and, and a very special person and it's sad to waste him like that for, for, for no apparent purpose. I hope that his children uh, will grow up and learn the different side of his father's, so. uh, their oh, father's uh, legacy. <laughs> okay. Thank you very, very much uh, for welcome. coming uh, to thank our studio. Thank you for studio. having me. Thank and you. thank you, our viewers, for being with us tonight. Tomorrow we will be here, not, but on Sunday. From the Jeff Report, Israel. Have peace. Have a great night.